So, it's been a long while. It's been a hard three months, to be exact. I haven't been able to get to working on the various things I've been wanting to work on. Let me just skip the little demo here, so you can see the proper intro for itself. You can't play this game anymore, and it's almost 10 years old. Where does time go? So yeah, this is the Where Is Everything State of the cham uh, Channel, and <clears throat> I figured why not play a puzzle game to, uh, to basically get things back to going. I've been trying to get things back on, well, for recording and such. I've been uh, overdue to finish uh, Metroid Zero Mission's bonus content. I have the videos ready for like the post commentary on on original Metroid and such. I just need to do the post commentary and editing and such. Well, editing first and foremost. But, to give you that streak of bad luck with January, well, well, we were dealing with uh, a, a water pipe problem, or a filter problem that basically, it limited our use of hot water when our, like when the uh, city, like uh, when the city's water problem got fixed. And we were barely getting any hot water, like, way less than expected. And then it got a little bit worse when they, when I noticed it wasn't actually getting cool when I was trying to get the cool water while brushing my teeth or washing my hands until I burned my hand. Fortunately, we did get help with uh, water filtration. And eventually, it did lead to getting a... Uh, <clears throat> getting a uh, a new sink put in place, one that ha uh, one that isn't like uh, close to uh, falling over or anything, and then we got a new door. Fortunately, we weren't uh, forced to move out when we uh, when we got the got the things in place. So uh, yeah. 2024 has not been a fun year so far, and admittedly, I don't expect it to get any better. Also, speaking of things that I'm not expecting to get any better, uh, this poor series is stuck on the Wii U and you can't even play it since it's uh, digital only. And I completely forgot how to play. So, yeah. I've been trying to get back to things. I have been playing some more games as of recent. And, uh... Like, uh, I've actually finished playing Super Metroid. I revisited, uh, Metroid Fusion. And... And I'm gonna be honest here. There's part of me that wants to play those games again. Like, I really enjoyed my time with those, and... I do have a much higher opinion of Metroid Fusion than I did before, and I will say if you're going to play Metroid Fusion and you never got a Wii U or a GBA cartridge, the expansion pack does make that worth it since it does not have to slow down issues. <clears throat> the other issues was, like, like during that time was dealing with tooth problems some were still trying to sort out and it's taking a bit to uh, figure out uh, proper oh man I hope this isn't going to take a uh, going to be a problem to sync since uh, audio is being captured like from my speakers and such because yeah Sometimes I want to hear the game I want. Uh, I'm playing and such. Anywho, Oop. a lot, a lot of what was taking me forever was demotivation. Just everything that was going on. The the. 
like, basically a lot of things that were happening during January. And, uh, like, a lot of things that were happening during January and, uh, January, like, a lot of things that were happening during January and so on and so forth. Like, I had a hard time trying to get to work because I just didn't feel motivated enough. Like, I admittedly felt, uh, like, I had the hard time trying to do any video progress or anything after, nah, nah. After uh, the Festival Mila's uh, uh, 2023 project was finished, there's family issues and such, and on top of having on top of having more like anxiety and self doubt and whatever is the right word for it, it ha it hasn't been fun like. I've been wanting to work on certain projects for a good while, and I haven't gotten myself, I gotten to push myself to do them as much as I want to. I've been just getting back to the relics for the next Let's Play. Heck, I might even start the next Let's Play a little bit earlier, just to say that I finally got it started. But I probably would only do early work. And then just try to finish the uh, relics as I go on. So that way I can, well, get a move on with it. I've been trying to get the Crash 3 for so long. I have the disc. I have a PlayStation 1 for it. I'm recording off of real hardware, just like with this game. And, like, I'm not against emulation. I used it for Crash Bandicoot 2. I would have used the real disc if I had it on hand, but... Alas... It's just... There was a lot of everything going on right, right now that... Uh, there was... That affected my motivation and such. And... Uh, it's not fun when you just... When you just get, uh, when you feel, uh, like it's not fun when you just lose your motivation or just lose it out of nowhere and nowhere like that. Sometimes I even have uh, trouble trying to, uh, trying to word it during uh, videos like these because I want to make sure I'm wording it carefully. I'm saying the right things. Because sometimes, yeah, because sometimes you have to worry about uh, what you say on the internet and such, and that's also something that's a uh, real that, something that's re like a real anxiety uh, bringer or whatever. Inducer, I think that's the right word. Uh, and some, like, you're just wondering, are you saying, eh, are, is what you're saying the correct thing, or are you overthinking it? I've been needing to get out of my funk and get back to doing things, and, uh, I've had that feeling of just, uh, starting, of just, like, trying to, trying to get things started, and never actually starting it and such. How am I going to solve this one? But... <clears throat> it's just the feeling is never fun. Like, I really don't like having that... Eh, having that feeling, uh so much. You know, my mom tells me to just stop feeling, uh, to try to stop feeling so negative about yourself. Uh, like, to get yourself out of that, that loop of self-doubt and such. And 
honestly, I, I can't really blame them. But it's not easy. But it's just not easy to get yourself out of it. It's just. It's just. Uh, I don't know. Like. It's just eventually you're just gonna have to. Uh, have this. Like, uh, uh, stop overthinking about it. Uh, thinking about it and just. Just get things started because. I've actually been feeling the recording mood very, like, relatively uh, recently. If you're wondering why uh, Crash Bandicoot Warp is uh, warped, bleh, it's taking forever. The Platinum Relics. Now I'm going to say this right now. For when I get to the Let's Play. Uh, for anyone that wants a good time with Crash 3, you don't have to go for Platinums or Golds on your first try if you want to see the best ending. Getting Sapphires is good enough. You only get Platinums and Golds, or Golds and Platinums, or pl or just straight up Platinums if you had a, if you really want, if you really enjoyed Crash Bandicoot 3 and you want, and you want to, uh, like in, you want to say prove yourself or something. <clears throat> I will get to that when I get to the uh, part where I talk about all the uh, relics and such. And this was a topic I was trying to save for last. I mean, technically, I was. Uh, I was say I was. Uh, I'm talking about it last and such, but uh, yeah. Hold on a moment. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry about that. The fans were actually getting really loud. I don't exactly have a powerful computer, nor do I care to get a gaming computer. Admittedly, that's the one thing I've been. I dislike is just always being pestered about that when I don't even have the space for it. Uh, oy. Like, I get it. They want me to run these, uh, run these very graphically intensive games so that way I can play with mods and such, but personally, I never really cared enough. Like, sure, it'd be nice, but I am not in a rush. Besides, I'd rather have something that can reliably, like, I'd rather have a console that can reliably run the games that, uh, intended, uh, like, intended, like, uh, frame rate and such, rather than, uh, rather than, like, thinking that it would run at its frame rate, but then the game just, yeah, but then the game has this little tad bit of, uh, of slowdown, and it just takes me out of it. Ah. Uh, Good thing, uh, good thing that's there in the game. So yeah, like if you're wondering why it's been taking forever, I've been trying to get all the platinum relics. Like I've been trying to finish that, and I'm like five away from a full set, so that way I can take care of it in the let's play. And it will be a post commentary part. I will tell you that, that now, because I'm likely going to be, like, focused on it. And there have been some relics that I've, that have been taking me days to get. Specifically the ski relics, the jet ski from uh, the water levels, uh, the, like, uh, water levels with Coco. Those particular levels. Those particular levels have no business being, uh, being the hardest uh, relics and such. I get it. They're platinum relics. They're supposed to test your skill with it. But I will get to that when I get to it. And I still have to practice other games and finish others too. Like, I've been needing to finish the Super Mario RPG remake because I know that uh, Thousand Year Door uh, remake is coming out this year. I've been needing to uh, 
finish Link to the Past since I was trying to practice that ahead of time in case that one. But that, like, that didn't even get close to first place and such. But it's still something I'd want to do at some point on this channel. I just know that it's not going to be uh, anytime soon. Sometimes puzzles, uh, sometimes puzzles like these require a bit of just thinking outside the box. It's a shame that this, like this series, is stuck on, uh, is stuck on a console where you can't legally buy these anymore. As in, the shops are down. That's what I mean. Like, like there wasn't a whole series of these games on the 3DS. Like, and. You can even scan 3DS uh, QR codes to get the puzzles for those games in this one. I mean, even the character, even the character Mallow, this guy's, uh, this uh, character's name is Mallow. He's in the, uh, he's in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as a spirit, if I remember correctly. Like, there are a bunch of 3DS stuff that I wish would uh, come back for the next generation. At least some way to preserve this, uh, preserve this game for uh, future generations. Besides, you know, at least some way to just uh, uh, to prevent this from being completely forgotten. I mean, Box Boy had a Nintendo Switch game. I've been trying out Fast Racing Neo. I should probably try out Fast Racing uh, Remix uh, since I heard, hear that's a more updated version of that game. I finished Fusion in Super. I am probably going to ask myself to play those games again on Nintendo Switch and such. I played Fusion on Switch and it was a really good time. And uh, yeah, I've been busy with Side Order. So much so that I already got every single badge from it. Every color chip. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, spoilers and such. Every color chip, every item, and every palette. This should be going up in March and such. And I've been trying to set up a thing where I talk about the games I've played in, like, uh, 2024 and such to get my thoughts on it. How am I supposed to get this one out? <clears throat> and now that uh, that's all squared away and, uh, and the like, the other thing is that technically the one uh, the one level pack for Neo Lemix that Festival Mila's was uh, based on has practically uh, been on hiatus for quite some time now. I've had the hardest time trying to even get it worked on and, and it, like uh, because of how stressful of a year 20, uh, 2023 was. Like I've been in a ball of anxiety during 2023 and such. And that's more with personal things that... That's been more with uh, personal things in my life and such. And it wasn't fun. Like, far from it. And... Uh, <clears throat> And I'm hoping that, like, uh, that all can, uh, I can, uh, change, uh, sometime. Like, I do want to, I do want to get back to doing the things I, the, the, I want to get back to the project so badly, but it's just the issue is that I haven't been feeling that drive and such, and... I've been trying to basically scale back and get to a get to a state where uh, where I'm happy with it and such, and I haven't really had the time or energy for it because of uh, what I've been busy with trying to 
trying to catch up on art and such. So yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Like I'm like I'm probably just going to scale down the number of uh, levels I want to remake then just round everything out and then just sort everything out and fin finish the loose ends that I've been stuck with. Like I wanted to have finished it sooner but I just I just felt I, w I was trying to implement things because I thought they were cool but never uh, never saw Pratt's, uh, practical use out of it. So yeah. I've also been needing to uh, get to practicing the other games that won and such like uh, like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat one that I'm gonna have to eventually do I did get my hands on a, another copy of a, a of a let's play I've been playing since 2021 and it's, and it's gonna be through that version I cover it because uh, the fact that they don't have uh, the fact that they don't make it so that you can have multiple save files is something that will always annoy me like, and it's just like, don't make me have to make an offline user account just to have a second, a second you like a second save file. Just give me the multiple save files. That's something that will always irk me with these kind of games. Like, don't make me get rid of my first experience. Um, shoot. No wait. Like, that is the biggest gripe I have with Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It's the... <laughs> it's the it's the fact that you need to make a new user to have a different save file. Sometimes this game doesn't know which, which pieces I'm actually trying to grab. <clears throat> but yeah. So, I'm going to try to finish up this thing and, like, like I do have, like, some bonus episodes recorded for Oh No More Lemmings, and it was my first time with uh, DOSBox, and I do get to share my thoughts on, uh, on the project uh, there, so hopefully I should get to that soon, but it will be going up after the 2023 uh, blooper reel, and... Uh, I, and I am going to try to get to uh, finishing up the last minute recording processes for uh, Metroid Zero Mission as I've been needing to do that for a long while. I'm almost done. I just need to finish the Speed Booster Fail episode and do the post commentary and editing on uh, uh, on the uh, on NES Metroid because I do want to get down to uh, one part but yeah it feels good to do a video like this again and uh, yeah it's a shame that this game and its uh, 3DS uh, predecessors are stuck on on the discontinued uh, poor s well one of them was poor selling and poorly marketed but it's stuck on a piece of hardware like this because it is an interesting concept that I feel should at least uh, get at least a re-release on Switch or something. Anyway, I, if you want to donate, there are a couple links in the description below. If you want to follow for future Let's Plays and such, it's just a, it's just a click of the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be on your way. With that being said, hopefully I'll get back to video soon because I've been needing to get that uh, get that edge back and such. It's just there are a few that I need to start working on. And then I will uh, see you with whatever comes next. Until then, I hope you're taking, a, taking great care of yourself and I shall now bid you adieu.